So we're back in Ikea because we're looking to finalize some things. So we have to like take pictures of certain things that we would want and start buying it now because time is ticking. Um, my plans take a little left turn and we would have to leave a little bit sooner. But when I get home, we'll talk all about it. Okay, so a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm in Central Park. Um, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I couldn't sleep last night. I'm running on no sleep. Actually, it's a bit cold, so I'm gonna just take y'all off of here. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. Had a lot of things, you know, going through my mind all at once. This whole move, what's my next step? I feel like I'm going in infinite circles. Um, I feel like nothing is getting done. And I honestly hate that feeling. Um, let me just sit y'all down. We gotta really talk about some things. Now, I wouldn't necessarily consider everything that's going on in my head a bad thing. I mean, there is more good than bad. Um, the only bad thing that's going on in my head right now is just, I know that when I decided that I wanted to move to Florida, that this wasn't gonna be an overnight thing. This was gonna be blood, sweat, and tears. But I didn't know it was gonna be this hard. Now, when I say it's hard, I don't necessarily mean the moving process itself, because that's probably by far gonna be the easiest thing that I would do. The hardest thing is everything that comes before that, because nowadays, Landlords ask for so much and due to it being that it's my first time doing this pretty much by myself It's a little overwhelming and sometimes I just sit there scratching my head like is this what I really want to do? And I'll be honest sometimes I do question it like is this what I really want to do? But then there's days like this where it's legitimately Numbing weather like I do not feel my hands whatsoever that makes me want to just Buy a plane ticket and leave right now legitimately three o'clock in the morning and like I normally do every single night when my day is pretty much over I sit back relax and I'll just turn on some twitch and just be on like my phone on social media or whatever the case may be so I get up from my chair and I check out the window and tell me why it's snowing New York why didn't you let us know ahead of time that it was gonna snow and it was gonna stick I check my weather app maybe like once every other day just to make sure that there's no changes in the weather. Now, this is one of the main reasons why I don't wanna live in New York no more because of the weather changes so much, like it's so bipolar. And not to offend any of you ladies, but the weather in New York is like a female on her period. One minute she's happy, one minute she's sad, one minute she's angry, and one minute she just doesn't wanna be bothered. Like mother nature, please get your things together. probably look really dark and really tired but still cleaning still packing some stuff I'm done I'm done but not done at the same time oh. and listen different perspective. I hope y'all guys like it. Listen, I'm exhausted. I've been cleaning since two o'clock in the morning. Right now, it's five o'clock in the morning. And I'm running on no sleep because my brain is literally like going in circles. Matter of fact, hold on. I know I shouldn't be drinking this at this time, but I need it. So to end off this video, it's gonna be quick. I'm just going to be sitting down talking to you guys, answering some questions and concerns that you guys have been having. And, um, damn, I'm out of breath. I'm exhausted. I'm going to be answering some questions and concerns you guys have been having recently. And you guys have been catching on on certain things that I've been saying recently. I feel like I said recently like 10 times. So ever since my sneaker collection video, a lot of people have been telling me like, yo, Brandon, why don't you open up a sneaker store? Like, I see you passionate about it. Why don't you just make that risk and do it? In another video, I've said that one of the main reasons why I'm going to Florida is because I am going to open up my sneaker store. And then I had a lot of people DM me, asking me questions like, yo, are you really going to do it? Where is it going to be? When is it going to get done? So to answer the question, 
I don't know when. I don't know where. All I know is, is yes, I'm going to open up my own sneaker store. It's not going to be now. Maybe in a few months. Maybe a year. Maybe two. I'm not 100% sure. And I'll be honest with you. My main concern right now is getting a house. All those other stuff can come at its own pace. But honestly, my main goal, my, my, my number one priority right now is getting a house. Because once I have a house and once I'm stable and I'm, I'm ready and I'm settled in, that's when I can start doing my research and, you know, getting my money together and getting everything together because I'm not going to rush anything. And personally for me, the location that I'm trying to aim for is Orlando, but honestly, I'm leaving everything up into God's hands. So wherever he wants to put me, that's exactly where I'm going to go. Um, I'm not going to nitpick. I'm not going to pick and choose. Wherever he decides to put me, I'm going to be blessed and humbled that I even have it. I like heaven.